Hello, Tom. Um, this video, I'm just making up for you. It's a uh, uh, grill uh, tool, um, just the uh, emblems of grill. You were uh, asking about how top solid handles it. This is the really the only example I have right now that I can open up in my notebook. Uh, I can get better examples, but uh, there you go. Uh, we have some grill shape in the core on this prototype tool. And then if we look at the uh, part, you can see that there's grill shape that's going to be in the cavity as well. Okay, so uh, to give you an example, I'll just go ahead and add some ejector pins to this tool. So best way is to put myself in a plan view. And uh, I'll start off by drawing in some circles of the diameters that I'm looking at for screws. Okay, so if I go in, say I want a circle, 375 diameter, and maybe I'll snap it right there. And then I'll do another one at a half inch diameter. And I'll put it uh, right here to try and get rid of, have as little blades as possible. I would never do this in real life, but for an example, it'll work. Okay, so for ejection, we have all our selection here for ejection, knockout rods, stop buttons, sleeve blades, stuff like that, but I'm just going to go with the regular ejecting. Since I have two parts, I have to tell it the part to eject, and now it's asking me for the circles. So I'll select both of them, this one and that one. Say OK. And this is where it's going to take a little bit of time because it's going to uh, analyze. Okay. Well, first I'm going to set, set the, select the screw I want, or the ejector pin I want, EX33M10, and it'll automatically calculate for the other circle and make it an EX series as well of the DME inch series brand. So this is where it's going to take a little bit of time because it's analyzing all the surfaces and it's going to. Uh, uh, make the proper trimmings. It's going to put the pockets into your uh, the drillings into the back of the core with the clearance, as well as the uh, um, de-locking clearance and uh, uh, counterbore in the back of your uh, retainer plate. Um, I just let the software choose automatically whether it was going to be de-locked or not de-locked. You have the option to force it to be de-locked, to force it not to be de-locked, or let the software analyze and do the thinking for you. So, just wait a minute here and see what happens. It really shouldn't take more than a minute, I imagine. While we're waiting, you can see from the dialog box that there's some settings you can change. Uh, the PRIX, that's the French translation for price. Um, so if you knew the price of your components, you'd be able to add them. Uh, you can also add, if you wanted to change your uh, drilling, ream depth and stuff. So you can see with this right here, maybe it's better if I turn off the part. You know, here's our ejector pin. You can, if you can see it, there's our uh, clearance back in the back based off of the standard configuration I have. And here's our pins already trimmed out and everything. So, what other controls do you have here? Um, you know, let me just uh, get rid of the block here. I'll show you a couple things with the bill of material. If I click on the bill of material for this, it's telling you that this machine length is 8.655. It's ordered an EX25M10 ejector pin. Notice I didn't have to tell it that. It automatically decided based off the circle that I chose. And it's ordered from DME inch brand. If I click on this one, same thing. EX33 M10 with a machine length of 8.73. And if you wanted a spare, you just type in two there. And it's going to tally them all up and combine them as necessary in your BOM. So what else can we do here? If we open up the history and I edit one of these pins, I have some control on the trimming. I could also change it to be keyed or not keyed at this point if I forgot to change in the beginning. Okay, And it, instead of being D-locked, it would be uh, just cylindrical round. So let's look at the trim mode. I can say that I want to trim to the lower plane. And my ejector pin updates. 
just go show the block again so you can see. So it analyzed everything and it said, okay, I'm going to trim it to the lowest possible plane, which happens to be right there. Okay, and then you've seen the other options of trimming to the upper plane, middle plane, or trim with an offset with a plus positive or negative value. Okay, I hope this shows you a little bit on uh, how Top Solid handles grills and uh, answers your questions. Thanks.